Right now I'm going to show you how to make a 100% CMYK stencil to be used for screen printing so that you get that rich black color so that no light penetrates that black stencil when you're exposing your screens. And you can use this method to also print on a plain piece of paper, plain white piece of paper, uh, and use the baby oil or mineral oil transparency technique and that's in one of my other videos if you want to see that as well. Okay so start off by opening up Illustrator and I'm just going to get my template ready and I'm going to use a plain eight and a half by eleven piece of paper so go ahead and uh, under size click letter and that's a plain eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper or a eight and a half by eleven transparency. Uh, and ensure here that the color mode is in CMYK and we're going to ensure this several times later on and now that you have your template ready we're going to go ahead and minimize this and you can open up your web browser of choice here I'm using Google Chrome and in the Google search I'm going to search for an image of interest and here I'm just going to search for school drawing as an example and go ahead and click on images and you can see there are a lot of school drawings to choose from um, a lot of interesting ones uh, but I'm going to take this a step further and click on search tools usage rights and labeled for reuse now this means that there's no trademark or copyright or anything associated with these images and uh, just look for something that interests you uh, you're, you're looking for a good quality image preferably already black and white and definitely not something like this this is too small and the lines are too faint and would make a poor stencil. Uh, something like this would probably work. It, it appears to be much larger, so go ahead and click on view image. You can even zoom in. Uh, the lines are fairly crisp, and this would make a good image. So I'm just going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. Name it something much shorter. And close out of Chrome. And I'm just going to open this up in Illustrator. Now you're going to see that this image is huge, but I'm going to leave it this big because it's going to make the stencil making process a little easier. And you can see in the background the outlines of the template. You just ignore that for now. So go ahead and click on the image, and what you want to do is click on File and go down to document color mode and make sure that's in CMYK color. Click on that. And then click on window and click image trace. Now when this window opens a lot of times this advanced window is not open so just go ahead and open that if it's not already open. And click preview. Now this is these are the default settings showing the tracing result and black and white mode. And so this is the actual tracing result that you're seeing here. This is the trace. This isn't the original image. If you want to see the original image, click on this little eyeball. It can switch back and forth. Now ignore the white because you don't want the white when you're making a stencil. And you can see that this has a fairly good result right off the bat. You won't need to really change much in the way of settings. But if you're wanting to see how well it traced it, you can keep clicking this back and forth, see if it missed anything important. And if you want it to maybe get a little darker or increase the line thickness, you can click this threshold and move it forward. But I liked it where it was around the 123, 133 range. I'm just gonna change it back to that. Go ahead and exit out of this.
And what you're going to notice is this under swatches, there's a question mark under the color. And if I try to change this color, nothing's going to happen. So the reason why is because you're not selecting these individual lines. So you want to click expand and it's going to select all the lines within the image. And go ahead and try to change the color again, but you'll notice when you try to change the color again, it's only going to change it to gray every time, no matter what color you choose. So click on the image again. And the first time, remember, we went to file and checked the CMYK document color mode. Well, double check that. It's not a bad idea. Then go to edit, edit colors and convert to CMYK. Now go back in and try to change that color and it'll change to whatever you want it to change to. So in this instance, I just changed it to blue for an example. Now go back in. We're going to change this to our CMYK, our rich black. In a rich black, the best color mode for rich black is 50, 40, 40, 100. That's going to give you a good rich black color. You don't need to change all of those to 100. So 50, 40, 40, 100. Now, as you minimize this, pull down shift. That's going to uh, shrink each edge equally. So you're not going to get a squished image in one direction or another. So every time you minimize the image, hold down shift. Now this is what it's going to look like on a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. It's going to print out like this. And uh, that's how you make a CMYK rich black stencil. Now we want to, if you want to see what this looks like on a uh, t-shirt uh, in a certain color, you can uh, have maybe an image of a t-shirt and overlay this in a different color onto that t-shirt. So you can just change the color. Say I wanted a green skull on a black t-shirt. Uh, I could change this to green and overlay it onto a t-shirt just to get an idea of what it might look like if it were screen printed. So once we switch this black to uh, back to black, uh, go ahead and export it and it's important to export it in the proper format don't export it in PNG because PNG you'll lose that rich black color right away because PNG does not save in CMYK JPEG does them so save it as a JPEG to the desktop or wherever uh, you save your stencil files to This will give you a chance to check that CMYK color model again, ensure that that is selected. And I like to save in the highest quality possible and at baseline standard. And this works well for me. So go ahead and click OK. Now let's go check out the image we just saved. Here it is. And the full size image looks pretty good. And if you wanted to, um, oops, if you wanted to print this, just go to File Print. And you can see what it would look like on a preview piece of paper. I have this scaled to fit. You can uh, ignore the scaling, you just leave it as it was. Uh, scaling to fit won't be a bad idea for this because it's a decent stencil so that expansion of the file won't do much to the quality and that's how you make a rich black stencil to be used for transparencies or plain paper in screen printing.